we got to keep working hard to uh, show the police department that we are united and they had to stop destroying Latino families. But we got to be united no matter if it is white, brown, or black. We got to be together. We had to show them that we need respect, that we need it for the police department had a better training to become a police because there's something wrong in the department. And we won't stop until we get justice. And that's what we need. Thank you. ¿Qué queremos? Justicia. ¿Cuándo? Ahora. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. How do you spell racist? S-P-D. How do you spell racist? S-P-D. How do you spell racist? S-P-D. How do you spell murderer? S-P-D. How do you spell murderer? S-P-D. How do you spell murderer? S-P-D. We demand the Department of Justice to come into Salinas and investigate the whole department. We demand the Department of Justice to come into Salinas, investigate the police department. SPD, SPD has been has been gunning down Latinos. They say that the Latinos have brought it on themselves. Today I listened to the chief of police. Lately he's been going on the rounds, and we as taxpayers are paying his bills. Activity. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like stereotyping to me. Because what he's basically saying is that if you're, exactly what he's basically saying is that if you're a poor Latino, you are going you are going to commit a crime. And I think that is an extreme insult against the Latinos. And it shouldn't be coming out of the mouth of the chief of police. We don't believe that he's been objective. Not at all. He's not objective because what he's actually excusing the behavior of the police officers. And he should be representing the whole city and not just the police department. And that is the problem, that the police department has become a department that is just a department that look out for themselves. You know, that's the way they roll. Sort of a good old boy club. Exonerate murderers. They should not be investigating themselves as they want to do with the commission. They want to put in place an old model of the commission that they've had and, and have about 12 police officers assigned to this commission. And that's the last thing we need because we, we need good citizens. And you don't have to have a college degree to serve on something like this. You just need to be a citizen. Now that we're here in front of the police station, let's remind them that the lives they've taken, the people whose lives they've taken, are still alive in our struggle. Frank Alvarado, presente! Frank Alvarado, presente! Frank Alvarado, presente! Frank Alvarado, presente! Carlos Mejia, presente! Carlos Mejia, presente! Carlos Mejia, presente! Carlos Mejia, presente! Osmar Hernandez, presente! Osmar Hernandez, presente! Osmar Hernandez, presente! Osmar Hernandez, presente! Angel Ruiz, presente! Angel Ruiz. 
to you. All this time I've been saying that it's not a race thing. I tried to give the police the benefit of the doubt. Four Latino men were murdered by nine non-Latino men. That does not add up. I apologize to you. In good faith, I wanted to hold on to that because I don't. Be I didn't believe it was a race thing until those nine names came out. And I have to apologize, like I said to all of you that told me, it's a race thing. But when I say we fight, we fight for everybody. Together we fight for all. And I'm angry at myself for not believing in you. Because it was four men, my beautiful brother. And it was nine cops, not one Latino. And they want to say it's not a race thing. They prove themselves wrong. They say they have to know the culture. They obviously are far from it. McMillan wants to take the credit for Salinas, California, not being another Missouri. But as Latinos, I'm very disappointed that we don't all speak up and stand up because we have power in numbers. And in those numbers, we can make a change. We can change these messed up policies that affect all of us. White, black, yellow, I don't care. It affects us all. I will not lose another family member or not another friend. And they need to make a change. And he needs to stop taking credit for the fear that they install, they instill into the Latinos and other people. We are human. We are voters. We are community members. We're homeowners. We shop. We are taxpayers. And we deserve better. Yeah. Yeah. Together, we will make a difference. Yeah. Thank you. We tire to be harassed because we don't have education. Because we become a slaves. Get up 4 o'clock in the morning and come back at home 6, 7 o'clock. Tired. And they still giving harass. Why? Because they look us like we are slaves. We pay taxes too. We deserve to get respect. We need for all the police department to be clean enough because they're so polluted inside. We need the Department of Justice to come and clean this department. So the city, because now, the one used to be the Salinas police chief, now it's a mayor. And what happened? The circle goes around. It never changed. So we need a change for this city can do better. And not just being abused. They kill one person, oh, mistake. Two, oh, another Latino. Three, oh, third Latino. They killed my son, he's a citizen. Now they start getting in trouble because now we're gonna fight for justice. And with all your help, I wanna stop things until this justice be done. Not only for my son, but for all the people being killed by the police department. Thank you for your support. <laughs> and prisoners' rights advocacy group. We met Frank in Watsonville at this Walk to Stop the Silence Against Child Sexual Abuse. Frank Alvarado Jr. was out there. He was working at the table of a community organization, and he came up to the Simbadas table. We had a petition against prison and jail expansion. 
and he signed the petition right away. We had a letter opposing the attacks on the former, on the California prisoner hunger strikers who went on strike against the torture of solitary confinement. And he signed that letter. And he said that he supported the prisoner hunger strikes while he was inside. And he talked to us about his experience inside and getting out and working to get his life together when there were no resources for former incarcerated people, when there were no services, when there was no mental health treatment or treatment for people who were addicted. And he talked about the need for our money and resources to go into the community, not to expanding jails and prisons. And the next week he came to our meeting and he started working with us. And he had an incredible passion for helping society and for getting the resources into the things the community needs. And in May, he spoke at a rally that we did when the governor's budget came out, the new budget for the state of California. And it had $500 million increase in money for the expansion of county jails in California. And Frank spoke out at that rally. And he spoke very beautifully and very passionately. And a lot of you have seen it on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and look up Frank Alvarado Jr. speaks before he's killed by the Salinas police. And he talked about his son and how much he loved his son and how he was taken away from his son when he was incarcerated. And he couldn't be there to bring him up. And he talked about his grandfather who had, who has um, terminal cancer and how he was taking care of his grandfather. He talked about the tremendous love he had for his family and how he had deserved better in life and that he was going to make sure that he got better in life. And instead he got killed by the Salinas police. Well, he does deserve better and everybody who's been killed by the Salinas police deserves better. And everybody who's been killed by racist police throughout the history of this country deserves better. going on for hundreds of years. The police were developed to keep down slaves. The police were developed to keep down Latinos who owned the land here. Whose land was this? This was Mexico. The U.S. stole this from Mexico. And then now Salinas is run by the agribusiness, the rich people, and the police are protecting them. So we know that the police are doing what their job is. Their job is to suppress and repress communities of color. And they are, they're racist to the core in the, in the very institution and history of the police. And we, we're gonna keep fighting for justice, for Frank, for all the men killed by the Salinas police, for all those killed by all the police throughout this country. And we're not going to stop until we have justice, like Frank Alvarado Sr. said. And we're here with you. We got your back. We're going to be fighting with you for the rest of our lives. Woo!